Algebra 1, number 1.7c, we're talking about solving equations now. And this is replacement sets versus solution sets. We can select a set of numbers to replace a variable. This is called a replacement set. See how we have 4x is equal to x plus 6? Whatever this x equals, it equals the same thing on this side of the equal sign. So it's going to be the same number. In an equation, whatever a variable equals is what it equals for the whole equation or expression. It can't change value. So if x is 1, then it has to be a 1 on this side. Is 4 times 1 equal to 1 plus 6? No, that's false. And 4 times 0 is not equal to 0 plus 6. 4 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 6 is 6. That's false. What about 2 and 3? Those are in our replacement set. 4 times 2 is 8. Is equal to 2 plus 6 is 8? Yes, that's true. How about 3? Let's try plugging the 3 into this equation. 4 times 3 is 12 equals 3 plus 6 is 9? No, that's false. So this is our replacement set, but they may not all make the equation true. The only one that made it true was the number 2. A replacement set for a variable that makes the equation true is called a solution. So 2 is true, so that's our solution. And to solve an equation means we find all of its solutions. And we put these solutions inside a, in a solution set within braces. They're inside of here, see? The solution set for 4x equals x plus 6 is a 2, and it's all by itself in the braces. The other numbers in the replacement set make false statements. They're not part of the solution set. So the only part of the solution set is that 2, okay? So sets of numbers can be contained within parentheses. We know what those are. They're curved. Brackets, those are the boxy ones. And braces, those are the curly ones, okay? When the replacement set contains few numbers, we can easily replace the variable with one of them to see if it makes the equation true. And we just put that number into the solution set. So let's try solving this one. We've got a squared plus 4 equals 29. Well, if we do 0 squared plus 4, 0 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. So 0 cannot be a solution because that makes a false statement. And if we use 3, 3 squared is 3 times 3. That's 9 plus 4 is 13. That doesn't equal 29, so that's false. But when we use the 5 that's sitting in the replacement set, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. That's a true statement. So our solution set contains only the 5. See? It's sitting in the braces. Let's try it again. We've got 24 divided by n equals 6n. So n has to be the same number on both sides of the equal sign. Well, if we try putting in 3, 24 divided by 3 is 8, and 6 times 3 is 18. So that's not true. 8 doesn't equal 18. That's false. So it's not 3. 24 divided by 4 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24. 6 and 4 are not equal. That's false. When we plug in the 2, 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 6 times 2 is 12. So if we put a 2 in place of that n on each side of the equal sign, it makes a true statement. So our solution set is the 2. See? Now sometimes it could be more than one number in a solution set. All right? We'll talk about that in the future. We can use mental math to solve an easy equation. If the replacement set was all whole numbers, so that means our replacement set isn't just a few numbers in braces, it's all whole numbers. So if n plus 5 equals 12, well, what plus 5 equals 12? 7, so n equals 7. We could also do the opposite, the, the inverse operation. 12 take away 5 equals 7, right? Because they're fact families? Okay. How about 5x equals 35? What does x equal? Well, what times 5 is 35? 7. So in this case, x equals 7, and that goes into our solution set. What about n divided by 3 equals 4? What divided by 3 equals 4? Or 4 times what? 4 times 3 equals what? 12. So 12 goes in our solution set. So remember, a replacement set contains possible solutions. A solution set contains actual solutions that make the equation true, and they're in braces. And they're sometimes called curly brackets or curly braces. 
but generally in math they're called braces. Okay? All right, that is replacement sets versus solution sets, and we're going to continue on to the next video and talk about equivalent equations. Okay? That'll be 1.7D. See you there. Bye.